help you with anything. Have anything unusual? I have some special mods I've been working on. Sort of a hobby I have to pass the time. Real high-powered stuff. Slap a few of them onto your weapons, and I am pretty sure they'll put a smile on your face. Let's hear a bit more about that extra work you mentioned. Hard to resist the lure of extra caps. As they say, can't win a war on an empty stomach. The food stores don't replenish themselves, so I need legs on the ground to hit up farms in the area. We'll be requisitioning a portion of their harvest, and I need that food crated and ready to go for when I send out a collection team. Your mission will be to ensure full cooperation of the civilian farmers, by any means necessary. I'm in. Thought you would be. I'll mark the farm on your map. Remember, guaranteed cooperation. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, brother. Now that's what I call locked and loaded. If Elder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one to kill him. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong, and it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sentence. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? What do these shells do? The Fat Man Launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload, in a man-portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one of them, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. That enough to go on? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Dismissed. Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a brother of a soldier you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. 
I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. Rivet City. It must be post-war, because I've never heard of it. You're right. It was a settlement, built inside the remains of a beached aircraft carrier. One of the safest places to live in the capital wasteland, until the Brotherhood arrived. It was the perfect location for me to try my hand at being a merchant. I have a hard time picturing you as anything but a soldier. Clearly, I was ignoring my calling. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on the scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. Are you sure there wasn't anything you can do to change him back? The FEV effect is irreversible. There was nothing anyone could do. Hey, you did what the Brotherhood taught you. Then you understand why it had to be done. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic, but I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. It'll never come to that. I promise. Even though I'm well aware that you have no control over it, I appreciate the sentiment. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. Get on that gunship, soldier. I want Fort Strong cleared and that stockpile secure. I know this may... in style. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green, and we're cleared for release. Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood within striking distance of the city. Try and keep him in your sights.
Primary target down. Look at that thing bleed. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Fredwin for repairs. 